Right, welcome to Vanilla Community Radio. I'm James, and I will be co-hosting the show with one of the greatest violinists in the Philippines, and now a singer-songwriter. And we just heard her first single called Thunder. Joining us from all the way from the other side of the planet, let's welcome Muri. Hello. Hi, Mu. Hey, hey, James. Hey, everyone listening in, tuning in. Yes, this is Muriel slash. Now that you know Muri, <laughs> um, all the way here in Europe. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, and it's nice to be here online with you guys. And uh, having Germs as my co-host. And yeah, we're gonna be talking about music and other stuff. So welcome. yeah, and yeah, we're gonna be talking about a lot of things today. More of Muri as the artist. I just have to get used to it. <laughs> But where where are you exactly now? So, so I, I'm in the south of Italy. We did like a, a road trip from north to south over like two weeks and doing a boat trip as well. And here it's like the middle of August and August everybody goes on vacation. And at first it was like, what? There's nothing that happens in August. There's like everyone's out on the beach, blah, blah, blah. 
But in the end, I was like, okay, it sounds like a cool thing to do. I'm just gonna join and like do my own vacation and whatever. So now I took a long vacation and how I'm here enjoying a bit of sun while I miss Philippine beaches. But it's pretty nice here anyway. Um, doing this super long road trip and having really good food. So yeah, that's where I am right now, calling in. So Sarap naman na I wish we could be there with you also. I mean, yes. okay lang. One I'll day. join you one day. Yes. <laughs> so, like, let's talk more about, like, Buri as the artist. But, I mean, for the other people who are listening that don't know you, maybe, like, you could give them a short, like, background about who Muri is. Yeah, so um, for everyone tuning in, um, just to step a bit back, uh, I'm Muriel Gonzalez, so I others may know me as like the violinist from the Ransom Collective. And, <laughs> and my bandmate. <laughs> and Germs is my bandmate. Um, and so, so what was I? So I've been um, in the music scene in Manila for a while now playing as a violinist and also backup vocals um, in the band called Ransom Collective. Um, and a couple of years ago, I thought that I wanted to take a break to pursue some studies first. So I, I left um, on a sabbatical. I went to France and so I finished my master's and then I, and then I found myself in the middle of the lockdown of the pandemic. And I was pretty much stuck here in, in Europe um, and it was a weird time to be in the place of transition. So I was transitioning out of school. I couldn't get away. I couldn't go home. I was learning to live on my own. I was super far away from, from friends back home. And so basically, I, you know, and all mu the music had stopped. So music had stopped. There was nothing happening. No concerts, no live gigs. And I found that I had time on my hands where I didn't usually have much of before. So I started writing music and I was I was traveling quite a bit within Europe because I was in a really tentative place in, in, in my work life. And that's where I started really like channeling all the stuff that I think all the experiences I've had in the past two years, um, putting that into writing and yeah, so I realized that I wanted to put it out and sort of, you know, I've, I've wanted to write some solo music of my own. And so this was the result of that. I went home to Manila for the holidays, uh, got to recording it, found some friends in the music scene. So, you know, Pat Sarabia, Alan Del Merced, RJ, Pineda. Um, got to recording, writing, and here we are. So I thought it would be a cool time to also reinvent myself as an artist in a way. And as I was speaking to people about you know, artists, what does it mean to have like an artist name? It was actually a nice way to choose your own identity in a sense. But, in, mm. but, but still, Muri is still kind of me. Um, Muri, actually, when I researched it, had a lot of meanings in different languages. One was, in Japanese, it meant the impossible. Which so that was a cool a cool concept. And second is in French it means to gain wisdom or to to mature. And so boom, <laughs> Muri <laughs> Muri evolved <laughs> out of also being Muriel. So it, it kind of made sense. And yeah, it's just a way to to introduce myself as an artist. And here we are now um, putting out my first single under Muri. So that's a little history. Hey. Yes. Yay! Yay! Summer? You Sorry. I have a. Oh, I should have maybe. No, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Like, na katawa lang. Kanina has to. Ano? I was talking to some OFLAM people and they said, and I think Billy was the one who asked. She's like, so yung bad. The people who played in uh, no, in Muri stuff, like they're all from France, nah, so we're like super international. Uh, and then you're like, no, it's actually like very local still. <laughs> so it's cool lang na, it's cool na you still work with, I mean, you had the, I mean, you were already in Europe and then you could also yeah. be, you could have worked with other people then in Europe. 
I'm sure like you have friends there and then the musicians and stuff but like you still yeah. chose to like go back and go back to your roots <laughs> yeah no and, actually yeah for sure <laughs> well yeah because like also I, I mean I'm still so I'm, I'm based in France now but I'm still trying to settle in and get my own like you know build a community in Paris where I'm based but like the question is like trust like I obviously like the people back home I know I worked with I know their capabilities and so like it was it was really quite easy for me to say okay I, I think this is what I need in the song I think this is the right these are the right people to work with so I don't need to go international to find great musicians <laughs> we, obviously there are a lot but there's just a lot of musicians already back home that I know and I trust and so I, I thought it was a way to also bridge still being like a Philippine artist and still even if I'm based abroad to yeah. to put that together with people from the Philippines in Manila yeah Manila Manila Community Radio <laughs> yeah and that's why we're on Manila Community Radio today <laughs> so Anian I was gonna ask you something like speaking of because you said Kanina so you went to you went to Europe right and then so you had like a short time in the back in the Philippines mm-hmm. was that like last year or like that yeah. was late last year the right? that was last so year you finished December. like so you finished everything while you were here how long were you here for or like what's the recording like mostly in Europe was the recording like mostly here or like how did that how did you record this whole song? It was kind of a mix of things like um, <laughs> um, well I I, wrote, I started writing this very like mid starting mid last year when lockdown happened and by the time I went home I had like maybe three songs I felt were ready so I didn't finish everything while I was in Manila most of it I did like for example made almost all the instruments for so I'm for the for the EP I'm coming up with so um, I did that then some of the vocals and violin I did in Manila uh, but then I'm very OC so I had when I wasn't happy with some of it I, I kept on working on it even here in Europe so when I moved back to Paris and I didn't have like a real home and things were so close so I ended up actually recording out of the closet in my apartment and yeah so actually it's a mix of uh, recording in the Philippines and France and uh, yeah I guess it's a result of the weird situation we're in but it was it worked out <laughs> it worked out in the end Wow, sobrang, sobrang pandemic EP. Pandemic well, you said you uh, put up an EP. Like, congrats, Moon. Like, I'm so proud of you talaga. Like, I'm so excited to hear the other songs that you're gonna come up with for your EP. And I can't believe you finished that in, like, at the span of a few months. And so, like, super international talaga. This... <laughs> Mori, because like you recorded in the Philippines, you, and then you recorded some in Europe. So, like, galeng. <laughs> so Thanks. proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, like, I felt that it was really good to maximize the ch- time I got home. Actually, I wasn't supposed to stay there that long. What happened was, I went home for holidays, and then I kind of got stuck because of my visa. So I ended up staying there for four months, and that's why I got a lot done. I shot some music videos, which you will be seeing soon as well, and the rest I kept on working on here. But it was it was a cool process because like working with so my producers Alan Delmer said um, same um, as last bass last yeah, and uh, <laughs> and he's um, it was actually really cool to work with him because it was super smooth and there was a lot of back and forth. But you know digital makes sense. I mean digital whether it's digital or in person it so far it's it's been good for me um, working remotely why did you end up why did you end up in the Palau working with lost base well so i actually asked around um you know people like pat and other friends from the music industry like um who who would have this like this is the kind of music I want to put out, and I sort of gave an idea, and who's the best person to do that? 
um, based on my style, based on the right. sound I'm going for. And so, Which we will talk about later. Yes. The style and the sound that you're going for. <laughs> yes, and uh, Alan came up and uh, so from there, yeah, I, I, it was pretty smooth from there. I mean, I, I, I obviously learned a lot like doing my own, like being on top of all the elements of the song versus in, in, in a band where you, you, you're responsible for one element. Here it was like really learning experience for me to think about every single aspect of it. Um, but what's cool is I, I knew I was with people I trusted and Alan was this, my second pair of ears, which was really good. Um, and he was super helpful along the process. So yeah, it's, it's been a good experience so far for me. Yeah, I'm sure like the transition from like working in a band that was big on solo artist. I'm sure it's hard. Like we were like six people working on like the music, the music video and all of that. And then big lang, you're just one person doing all of those things. <laughs> but I know like you can do it. Like but I'm sure like what's the transition like hard or like Yeah. I, I think I, I that's the amount of work I did not really expect like um, you know, you used to just think of like us being bandmates. We, we, we broke it into tasks and we all had our different parts. But <laughs> sorry, this song is singing <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Here. <laughs> um, uh, and so, like, yeah, uh, first of all, there was just like a lot to look after. One is the music, and the, the work multiplied by like four. First, just the music itself. So, recording, arranging mix uh, reviewing the mixing and the mastering and then there was all the aspects of like marketing so like um, content social media what is this you know when to announce what so it was really a big shift and I, I really felt it because at the same time I was doing other I had an, I also had a have another like work day, I have a day job and I felt like I had two full-time jobs and it was quite overwhelming um, and I and like as I went through it, it was also just like winging it, like, okay, shoot, I need this, I need that, I need this. But what really was helpful was everybody, I, you know, as I was going through it, everyone was really helpful. Like, they were actually super supportive, encouraging about this whole project that I started and um, were super volunteering and trying to give their advice. So it was really good. And I, I you know, it's in a, way, I, in a way, I ended up kind of building a team of my own. So the stuff that I couldn't manage, I really looked for people to help me manage, like social media, PR, stuff like that. And yeah, I, I'm, it's, it's still like the setup stage, so it's, it's very tedious and a lot of work, but I think um, moving forward, it'll be smoother. And uh, yeah, all the learning experiences are really- But I'm sure, yeah, this experience was like, like super helpful also for you, like going on like a smoothie. And you worked with the right people, I, like from like the music down to like the marketing. Like I recognize that market that the uh, that so <laughs> that's Pao, that's Pao, the man. <laughs> like working with Pao, yeah. and then like I was actually also with um, Relin like a few months back, and like she also because she was the one who helped you with your music video, and uh, she was so amazed like how you directed the whole thing. What happened music video? It will, when, I, when is it coming out? Um, it should be coming out in a few weeks. So I'm really excited for yeah, that. Yeah, I'm well. so excited. But the lyric video is amazing too. Like, yeah. was that Stan? Was that Stan? Yeah, so Stan, Stan, Bien, and Trish. There's like a three people team. But they, they, they do it like together. So it's super, yeah, like I honestly feel super lucky with the team I've found, like from the artwork to the content and to the people behind a music video. Uh, really feel lucky because I felt I feel like I'm in good hands, you know. Like I went straight for the people who really know what they're doing and yeah, even, yeah, you, you know, it all worked out so far. It's all it's also really like like, parang those people will like just come to you, eh. And it just worked. It worked out so perfectly. Like when you started the solo, the, the solo music, and then by when you were here, everyone that you worked with, Sakto, they were all available also. Mm. And you had that, you had that window of time before it became crazy again mm -hmm. with the pandemic. So it's mm -hmm. like just everything just fell into place. So like you're meant to be worried. <laughs> 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like everything was meant to be. <laughs> no, for real. Actually, when just as you were saying that, right? Like everything happened before lockdown. It was really like that. Like when we, when I was playing the music video stuff, um, it was like, uh, you know, oh shoot, we have to, we have to schedule like when we can do the shoot, the logistics. Like we didn't know if we could go out and so stuff like that, and. Um, it was quite tricky because lockdown was happening. We, we actually, a lot of my projects kept moving because of lockdown. And so that's so yeah, that, that 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 was really tricky. But in the end, it worked out. And actually, what you're saying about everything coming together, it, it really felt that way because also when I brought up the project with different people, they all kind of had similar sentiments, which is like, oh, this is cool. Like I, I'm game to work on this. You know, I'm quite fed up with my own like the art the art they do with corporate with advertising so it was interesting because i heard this a lot of like from m multiple people like ah oh, this is nice it's, you know because the thing is i think art connects art <laughs> and yeah. um when i pitched the idea you know it, it was like it's not about a commercial product it's not about selling stuff i mean it's not about selling a product it's and then i think the difference with this kind of project is like getting people on board is is allowing them to do their own thing like i i'm not a i'm not here to like be a like ceo or something so like <laughs> I, I like i feel like it's a really collaborative team effort and whenever i set the vision with people like it seemed like everyone was in sync and so it was really like just working together to get a good a vision aligned out so when you're saying yeah it all came together that's kind of how it felt really because people were super in game and super felt like this was an outlet for them as well to express, express their creativity right. so so yeah i felt really lucky and lucky with the team as well i like what you said like art connects art because it's like it's true like speaking of that we also like get in like we get inspired from like other artists in different forms like music or like artwork or movies you know the bad like as an artist we get like inspiration from other art so speaking of that like i know like muri muri sound is super different also from from the from the, the band stuff so like i don't know like i want to know more about like who your who are your influences and like what inspired you to go into this sound but i know like you've been listening to this kind of like this music ever since but you know for the other people listening like maybe you could like give us like your top influences for mm -hmm. as muri yeah so maybe i can i can be specific about the influences for this this song especially um one is i would say there's a bit of synth pop inspiration there which is um a wonder and specifically ultra life ultra life there was this moment i was listening to ultra life and um there was just a line that got me hooked and even i was watching the music video and it it kind of hit a mark on me and so that kind of left the feeling and so that, that that's one of the, the songs that were like a bit like of a like something that really put got put, like planted as a seed. The other could be um, Tom Mish. So 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 uh, there are a few songs of his that felt very vibrant and very like jazzy and very a mix of different genres. And um, and there was a good vibe to it, like an upbeat pulse, and that kind of also I connected to that. Um, and Lian Lahavas, I think. So uh, I, I like her style of like sort of soul jazz um, with, with some cool elements of piano and also band, a bit of a band sound as well, but also very singer songwriter style. So um, yeah, those are some of the songs I think, and we can we can actually play it here. Yeah, yeah, we could play like <laughs> the first one that said like "Oh Wonder," right? Which yeah. song was that? Uh, Ultra Life. Ultra Life. So let's play "Oh okay. Wonder," Ultra Life. Love sick the beat inside my head. Way struck a sea of bitterness. Lights out, so low in the blue. 
One day, all your life. So if you guys like like that, you could also like listen to the entire album of Oh Wonder. I've, I I love Oh Wonder as well, and I know they have like new music also. So well, it's 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 always like a feel good, parang nostalgic feel yeah. whenever I listen to like Oh Wonder. And I could hear that also in in Mori. In Sunday, so I get to where where the inspirations coming from. So their second song would be. So I would say the second song is um, Tom Mish and maybe South uh, South of the River. Actually, the same album that had that song was really I like the vibe and I like the mix of instruments. So I think it's definitely also one of the influences for writing the song. And yeah, here we go. We can play it for, for all of you guys to listen to.
south of the river This is where it all starts I think that we could stay here forever Lie on the roof till it's dark And when the last bus pulls away I swear that I almost heard you say I should move south of the river uh, I want to get to know I want to get to know So that was Tom Mish's South of the River, um, another influence um, for, for Thunder specifically. Uh, I really like the vibe of the song. Um, and if I guess if there was a third song, I would say also was an influence to Thunder, it would be Leon Le Havas, Unstoppable. So I think what I like about Leon Le Havas' style is it's quite soul jazzy, and, but also funky and groovy. Um, and yeah, so maybe we'll play it now and you guys can have a listen to, to one of my influences.
darkest reaches of space to another galaxy. Our polarity shifted around. There's nothing else left holding us down. And it's just gravitational. Uh, the making of thunder and she really reminds me of you more like yes yes Leon Harris <laughs> <laughs> like the whole like the whole jazzy feel and like sophisticated and like just the the whole you know Leon Harris vibe <laughs> LA LA yes. <laughs> someone yeah said also uh, I was talking again to someone recently about Thunder and they were kind of surprised like that's how you sound daw pala like parang that's your voice and I said yeah like Moose always been like into like jazz and, and they specifically commented on the on your voice how it sounds so like classic so it oh. reminds me a lot of like mga um what do you call this the tagalog kundiman and yeah? it, parang it's yeah yeah parang when pagka, like whenever i hear your like parang it's like it's nice to like dance to it and it it just fits who you are also as a person nice. like i remember like we would have like mga romance musical and all these like you know like gathering of musicians and all of that i miss that by the way oh, I miss that so too. it's like sakto yung It's nice. It's it's really nice to like finally hear like your your solo stuff because I know you've been wanting to write. I know you've been writing for quite a while now, and um, hearing thunder is just like you know it makes me like so proud of you as a bandmate and as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk more about let's talk more about the single thunder. So. I've been super LSS with the song and that violin <laughs> riff. As in, sometimes I like, I'm just sitting down and then I just hear it in my head. <laughs> and I can imagine you play it also. So how how did this how did Thunder 
come about? Like, what's the what inspired you to write this song specifically, and why Thunder? Well, so I think um, the song kind of came in phases, and I think one is maybe like three phases. One is like I was in a really like. I felt I was in a tough spot. Like I was adjusting to a new culture, new company, new, new people, new everything. Everything was new. <laughs> everything is new. I was away from home, and I was really like challenged because I was adapting in so many levels. And I realized like I was being extra hard on myself as well. So it's like I, I'm, I'm pretty. I really pressure myself a lot. So like I felt the pressure multiply a lot and didn't actually give myself a chance. And then I realized like, then I realized after an event that, okay, actually um, you, you, you did something good. Like you actually did something really good. Um, and I realized that I don't, that's, you know, sometimes you just, with that, with that event, it's like, um, I realized that my voice, my head just has so many voices telling me things that I, things that are negative, things that are positive, things that are, you know, words that suffocate me or that actually make me feel bad. But then when you step away from that and you look back and you realize, okay, actually you're, you're doing good. And then, then I realized like, okay, it's a lot of it's in your head. A lot of it's just your own voice saying what you can't, what you can't do. And then, and then with that realization, I was like, okay, shoot, I have to remember this feeling. I have to remember this, this, you know, this voice. And so that's kind of what Thunder became. It was kind of like a, a, a song that was written through tough times, but also through being self-empowered. And like in the chorus, which is like, you know, getting through it. It, 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 it talks about how, you know, nothing can, nothing can sort of scare you or you can you can go through stuff, but you've got it in you to to get out of it. So like I think the chorus is um, now I know where to go. I'm oh, sorry, no, that's the bridge. Now I know where to go. I, I feel the tremble through my bones, silhouettes of old regrets, no longer shadows in my steps. And then the chorus goes, no other sound can drown the thunder of my soul. So it's kind of like reminding yourself that yeah, you've got it basically and nothing can like stop you or you shouldn't let anything tell you that you shouldn't even yourself so that's kind of what thunder is for me <laughs> no. and i'm sure a lot of people can relate to it now especially like yeah. during the pandemic like we've been isolated yeah within their homes and their own thoughts and you know there's always like these positive and negative thoughts and it's nice to have that empowerment yeah that you were saying uh, it's fine like we're okay like wherever you are you're okay and mm -hmm. it's it, it, it's interesting actually that you said the song's kind of like sad or parang it's about like hard it's, it's during the tough times of your life of transitioning from living from uh, living away from home but the sound is it's it's kind of like comforting like the whole vibe to it so it's nice also how like you made it you made that like part the tough time in your life into something like positive and something like more colorful like whenever i hear it i see more like i want to dance to it too it's like it's like a feel good kind of kind of song yeah yeah and i think so, i I think without meaning to, maybe that that's kind of like how it came out. Like, um, and it's for any and it's for anyone, right? Like, you you kind of need the color. You need you need that sort of good vibes to keep you going. And I think, like subconsciously, it just came out of that song. And uh, definitely, I think it's kind of a universal thing we all go through. This like voices in our heads and 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 getting that getting that negativity like out and and just focusing on the positive stuff something we all need to remind ourselves I think yep I agree we all have to remind ourselves that there's still something good 
out there despite everything that's happening in the world right now. And thanks for your music, Mu, and thanks for like, you know, making us feel comforted with your music. I was just like wondering, is Said, you mentioned earlier that you're kind of like leaning towards the same as Thunder or is it going to be like different I mean if only if you're okay to talk about this it's yeah no I mean I think let's say I think as a new singer songwriter uh, things are a bit experimental I would say I would say it's you, you might expect, you might not, you might be surprised that it will sound different. Let's just say that because um, I think my sound is still evolving. I'm still experimenting um, and I don't really focus on trying to make a sound. Like I don't, I don't try to make the song sound like something. It just comes out. And I think, I think maybe if someone would look at it as a genre perspective, it might be different. But I think there are underlying elements that are similar. Maybe themes or concepts or uh, instrumentation, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to say because, <laughs> and, and uh, once you guys hear it, I think you'll be able to tell. Um, but hopefully, it's still going to be something that you guys will enjoy um, once it's out. So <laughs> hard to yeah, answer. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean we shouldn't be bonded by like one, you know, genre. Like that's why we're artists. Like. We should be mm-hmm. free to experiment and like put out like whatever song or like whatever kind of music we want to. So, like, it doesn't matter. Basta, it's your song. Yeah. To be proud of it. <laughs> but like the whole EP, like you collaborated with the same people, or was it like different per per um, song? Like for for Thunder specifically, it was Lost Days. And um, you mentioned earlier Pat and RJ. Pat, Pat and RJ. RJ Pineda. Yeah. Well, so far, yes. Like, key instrumentation were from the same people. I don't know if I would include um, other instruments because actually I'm still finishing up the rest. But mostly it will be the same people, same people collaborating on it. Sorry, I got distracted. Rati's here. Yeah, hi, Rati. Hi, Rati is Germs' dog. Who's like... Hi, Rati. Who's yeah, she's crying so outside like... the door. Sorry, now she's so big now. <laughs> um, Sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, like, I'm really looking forward to, like, the other... The other music that you're gonna be putting out as Muri. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, what message would you like to share to the world, I guess, since you're in the Philippines and also in Europe about Thunder or like about like any experience putting this together and all of that? Bahalang, you have something like a short message to tell people about your single. Yeah, I guess so for Thunder, I mean, I think it's. I think the message of Thunder is just to like um, try to listen to your your voice, like not the ones that like not your own voice that puts you down, but the voice that actually supports you and encourages you. The one, basically, like be a friend to yourself um, and let, and give yourself a chance. Um, and I think we all need that, especially now since everything's kind of weird and we're all in weird situations, going through weird stuff. So just hang in there and remember, remember you've got it. And yeah, and um, that's it. So I guess, um, I guess for the listeners, I mean, I'll be putting out more stuff um, in the coming weeks and months. Um, I just put out a lyric video and the music video will be coming as well. So hopefully you guys can catch that as well. And I'd love to hear back from everyone. Again, this is my first project, so I'm super keen to you know, it's pretty intimidating to put it out, and but exciting at the same time. So I'd love to hear um, people share on social media or send me messages on all my network, um, Instagram, whatever, <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, the usual. <laughs> you can find me there. And yeah, that's it. So thanks also for everyone who's been listening and streaming. 
it's exciting to see, like it's kind of addicting to watch how you know all these tools for the culture streams like i never was like so into it before <laughs> but now i'm really like tracking it and it's it's really cool to see that people listening and, and sending messages and, sh and sharing the song so thank you everyone for for welcoming the song to the world and for supporting Muri. yay <laughs> um yeah congrats again move for for releasing thunder and you could like what she said you can listen to it everywhere so it's on spotify i'm sure it's on deezer itunes and the lyric videos out na on, on youtube so and there will be a music video in two weeks right for actually thunder. um yeah three weeks soon soon let's just say soon Soon, soon. Just Music video coming out soon. Follow and subscribe. Follow and subscribe. Follow, follow Muri so you can so you know all the other updates about her life and her travels and her music. So now she's in Italy. She's on a road trip, and you could see her journey there also. <laughs> yes, I will share. And um, yeah, I definitely miss home. So that this is my, I guess, sharing stuff is my way of like still fa staying connected with everyone back home and the music as well. So even if I'm here, like I still feel more connected than ever to, to people listening to the music and to friends and family. So definitely cool to stay in touch. So feel free to message me and subscribe and follow <laughs> and stream. <laughs> um, so I guess that's it. Um, Anyway, thanks everyone for listening. I, I really, I guess this is my first radio show since putting out the single. And um, I'm really glad I got to share all these with you. Thanks, Germs, for co hosting. Um, <laughs> my friend and bandmate. Um, Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, um, stay tuned, I guess. And thanks to the Nello Community Radio for having me and Germs come on the show. And yes. hear support from, from me as well soon. Yep, don't forget to follow Muri everywhere and also Manila Community Radio so you can stay updated with their upcoming shows. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. See you. Let's play your oh. song one more time. Yes, so let's, let's play one more time. Thunder again for everyone. Enjoy. See you. Sleep and in a dream How I've tried but couldn't leave Caught up in my make-believe In a world all on my own Getting through all this unknown Would I fall or should I hope Try to run or try to call Cause I fall under my own mad spell When it pulls me in I just can't tell It's made me weep But it's bled me tough It's been too long I've had enough Can you do it now? No other sound can drown The thunder of my soul Enough of compromise, sound of thunder on the rise.